Hey everyone, in today's video I'm just going to show you a quick method to remove some yellow light from your traditional art photos or anything else that you've got a colour tint on that you want to remove. So there are a lot of ways of doing this but we're going to keep this quite simple as long as your image isn't overly complicated with various lights. So open your image in Photoshop and the first thing I'm going to do is press Ctrl and J on our background layer. This will duplicate it, always good to have a backup. And from there, before I remove any colour, I'm going to press Ctrl and L to up the contrast. So this bar on the right, for example, is our slider for the whites. Turn those to wherever you want them to be. Don't go too far, otherwise it will go a bit overexposed. And you might not want it to be perfectly white anyway. So I'm going to go about there. I'm also going to up the blacks just a little bit to counter any brightness in the darker areas that we didn't want. From there, hit OK. And the next step is to add selective colour. So come down here in the bottom right corner and find selective colour. Mine is at the bottom. So we have this new window here. Depending on how strong your yellows are or whatever colour you're removing, you might want to find that colour. So for example, yellow and turn it down here. So you can see that actually did make a little bit of a difference if I toggle that on and off. But because our page is quite white, even with these yellows on, a better option would be to select white from the drop down. And from here, we're just going to drag the yellow slider down. Sometimes if you go too far, it can make your image look a little bit blue purple. So I'm going to go about halfway to start, but just keep playing around with it until you're happy. And once you are happy, you can merge the selective color layer down by pressing Ctrl and E, which locks it to the layer below. And from here, we could use our colour picker just to click on the background and see what colour we've got it to. So you can see it's not perfectly white. I didn't play around with it for too long, but compared to our original image, it's definitely much better. So this is what we started with. We've upped the contrast and removed some of the yellow. Nice and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Smash that thumbs up button and of course be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on for future content. Thanks for watching everyone.